No fines, no jail time. That was the sentence handed down for Annie George today. She had an illegal immigrant servant at her Lenrock mansion in Rexford. However, she did not get off free and clear. And Matt Markham joins us live now at the federal courthouse in Albany to tell us what did happen. Matt? That's true, Liz, and it's been kind of a long wait for Annie George, especially after the trial essentially wrapped up in the middle of March. She was convicted for harboring an illegal alien at that time, not necessarily for financial gain, so she got the lesser of the two counts then. Today, during sentencing, you could hear an audible gasp after the judge uh, made his decision, but the judge also had some pretty harsh words for Annie George as well. Judge Gary Sharp said that the system of justice does not work when people lie and accused Annie George of lying through her eye teeth about the details of the case on the witness stand when she did testify. George didn't. Is this an end that satisfies everybody? Uh, well, I mean, certainly we're happy she's not incarcerated, going to jail. Uh, but, you know, we're, she has proclaimed her innocence, so she'll appeal the case. I don't know if you heard, but she is going to be going back to the Lenrock Mansion, at least today. That home seizure, though, is an issue at this point. Uh, the defense attorney did tell me that, as you heard, he's going to appeal. And until that appeal process is worked out, Annie George still can go back and live at the Lenrock Mansion, at least for now. Uh, as a spectator, this was really a provocative trial when you were in here every day and you could hear the different witnesses on the stand and the stories they had to share. Annie George, at one point when she testified, uh, began crying, talking about her situation at home, saying that her husband beat her on occasion, and also says that she caught the uh, indentured servant Valsama Matai having sex with people in different houses that they lived in between Catskill and Menands. Uh, meanwhile, Valsama Matai, the indentured servant in this case, claimed that she couldn't basically talk to anybody or go anywhere under Annie George's care. Liz? What about the family, Matt? Uh, well, uh, as you remember from earlier stories back in 2009, Annie George did have a husband and a son who died in a plane crash. She still has five kids of her own, though, and that was one of the points that the defense attorney tried to tell the judge uh, before the actual sentencing came down today to say, hey, you know, look, this is a woman who's working hard. She's got to support her family and her five kids. And on top of that, if you've ever seen the Lenrock Mansion uh, on our news or you've been past it up in Rexford, it's a big house. It's an expensive house that is worth millions of dollars. So you look at it and you say, well, how could a woman who has this huge house that's worth all this money uh, be in any kind of financial hardship? She claims it's because of her husband, at least she did in trial, after he passed away uh, that gave her some added difficulty. So it'll be interesting to see what happens from here on out. And again, appeals will be filed, Liz. All right. Well, I hope you'll follow it for us, Matt. Uh, great job. Thank you very much. And we'll look forward to the next uh, the next chapter in this long saga, as it turned out. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.